Hi, thank you for joining me today. We're reading through A Course in Miracles to Daily Lessons, and today we're going to be reading Lesson 359. God's answer is some form of peace. All pain is healed, all misery replaced with joy, all prison doors are opened, and all sin is understood as merely a mistake. Father, today we will forgive your world and let creation be your own. We have misunderstood all things, but we have not made sinners of the holy sons of God. What you created sinless so abides forever and forever. Such are we. And we rejoice to learn that we have made mistakes which have no real effects on us. Sin is impossible. And on this fact, forgiveness rests upon a certain base more solid than the shadow world we see. Help us forgive, for we would be redeemed. Help us forgive, for we would be at peace. This is a beautiful lesson. And it, it, it is true, in my experience anyway, that once we understand what's really happening here uh, and how God is really working through all of us and that we are really all Christ within, uh, it's true then that God's answer is some form of peace. And what gets us into trouble is this free will that we keep thinking about or talking about so um, we each come in to form into this 3D world that we're living in. We come in for a reason, each one of us. Each one of us has decided and agreed. And what's happened is that we get here and then we forget. We don't realize that we're here for a reason that all of this is a, a, a magical mystery tour, basically. And um, we get very attached to things in this 3D form. And we get attached to our thoughts and we get attached to uh, what we think is true. And uh, we get attached to our beliefs and then we fall into judgment and separation. And so to really unify back into oneness, to remember yourself as the divinity that you are in form is to realize that God's answer is some form of peace. And that when you realize that what looks like sin what looks like things that are wrong in this world are merely people doing things in an unconscious way. They've forgotten that they are divinity. They don't know. And they're uh, living their lives as they think they want to. And, and that's their free will. They are not remembering why they came here in most cases. Because if you remember why you came here, then free will no longer is, a, is an option for you. Um, you give up free will and you, uh, and you embrace divine will once you've realized what's happening here. And until then, until you've realized, you're really functioning under your free will. You're doing what you think you wanna do what you think you should do or whatever. Um, but you're not functioning as your divine self. And so in these last lessons, it, we're really focusing in on um, how you become your divine self. Help us forgive for we would be at peace. If we forgive everyone their free will, we will be at peace because we'll understand that we look upon the things and the mistakes or the 
the problems that we see in the world and the people doing them. And we'll realize that they're not horrible things and they're not horrible people. They're just simply mistakes. They're not moving us towards creating heaven on earth. And pretty much everything that isn't moving us towards creating heaven on earth, it's just a mistake. So I hope you have a great day with this lesson today. Feel free to reach out to me, 907-351-3003. You can uh, message me through Facebook or YouTube or SoundCloud or also my websites, lindalamp.com, lindalamp.shop. Until tomorrow, namaste and much love.